Ooh, 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 ooh. What a beautiful weekend! It already starts great! I just saw a trailer about the warp train! <laughs> just in a couple of days, the warp train is gonna arrive! And it's probably going to be quite horrible for the sinners, but that's gonna be fine. Right, sir? <laughs> that guy has no idea what I'm talking about. But that might be for the best. If you think this is worse, just wait what happens over there. Anything related to the fourth train is horrible. <laughs> right, Noreen? Oh, hello there, Lucy. There's not much time left, but the research lab is still open. I'm a bit worried about that, Noreen. I mean, you did mention that in the last week, after we had the whole part filled <laughs> about crafting potions and their background story, what they did in the meantime from... Loop 3000 to 28? Okay, which loop are we currently in? Is there a way for me to check that? Mm, I can't. Okay, never mind. But I'm pretty sure we skipped to the 20,000s or something like that. In the meantime of that, they were quite busy testing all types of potions in order to make the betrayer potion that supposedly help out Klein in some way or shape. I'm not entirely sure how, but uh, surely at some point we will figure it out, right? We will figure it out. For now, we're just going to do what we always do. Exploring the twisted land, getting the time shade, building up our friendship like usual with Asar and Trisha today, seeing how they both are really, really close to their third friendship token. I mean, look at this. Just one more missing on both of them. And after that, we kind of have to check who still needs it. Technically speaking, yeah, Joey hasn't been touched yet. Lian, my favorite, hasn't been touched yet. Silverstein needs some work. Sharon has a has a start, but we aren't nearly done yet. Ironheart, our big shield, hasn't really uh, had any development yet. We also have a bunch of new characters, like Hus, Loreen, and uh, Momori. Which also needs some attention from us, so yeah, in today's week we're going to be quite, quite busy. Right? Quite, quite busy. But for now, we're going to start it easy. First of all... Wait. Sorry, but I'll be waiting at the Arctis. What the hell are you talking? Do you not want to join? That's an option? Okay, well, uh, if you don't want to join, I'm not gonna force you. Trisha is certainly going to join. Well, if that's the case, I guess we can bring somebody new then. Mm, now the question is, who are we going to bring? Hus, the bunny girl, Momori, or Lirene? Lirene seems to be a healer, same as Hus, and Momori is a tank. I'm actually kind of uh, leaning towards our little healer here, simply because we spent such a long time building for towards her. I mean, I literally donated like 5,000 gold for her, and every time when I had the money, I died, so that kind of delayed it even further, right? <laughs> so yeah, I'm probably going to go with Huss today. So what do you have? Restraints. Hus was a long time recluse, so quitted her lifestyle, uh, lifestyle to aid the investigation team. She utilizes a special healing whip. Okay. Hus is a healer who puts her allies at a slight risk for high return. She can also apply strong weakening debuffs on enemies. What do you mean on a slight risk? Probably related to a strain thingy. At the start of the turn, Hus can choose to consume one mana to delay an enemy whose action count is zero. Oh. So I can stop the guys who are trying to hit us first. Like the tank. <laughs> can I stop the tank with this? Oh, that might actually be good. Interesting. Okay, then Hus, welcome aboard! Now I don't need to worry about a healer, which means I probably should look for a tank. Oh, and by the way, uh, one of you guys has mentioned that from here on out it is possible for us to actually visit the Crimson Wilderness on our own. 
All we really need to do for that is activate the vending machines from what I understand. So in that regard, how about we're going to attempt that during this run as well? I'm probably not going to reach the end of it, but let's be serious at this point of time. I'm kind of focusing on the character development. We're running out of time after all. Lirin said it. We're running out of time. Who knows how many <laughs> attempts of a run I still have around here before everything goes crazy. <laughs> Once Klein activates his plan, I'm pretty sure everything is going to change around here. Azar's already acting weird. He doesn't even want to join, right? He doesn't even... Wanna... Join? Okay, why do you have this? Did I get an upgrade or something that gives us that? I'm pretty sure whenever you run a new run, you pretty much have nothing. Right? Like literally nothing. You only have the basic attacks, the basic heals, and that's it. And now we have some skills. Like Shadow Slash. And the Whip of Love. Which actually heals for 13. Heal 3 more if the target is below half HP. Activates until the stage ends. Four damage per turn. Overheal by six when healing wound is removed. Scale with healing power. This buff is instantly removed when the character reaches dead door. Probably in order to ensure that they don't die. But still, this is a bit weird. Hmm. Oh well, I'm just going to give her a level up right away. So that we get a bit of better oversight over her skills. I'm going to uh, get a couple extra items and extra salt stones that were already added, right? <laughs> it's this constrict, 9 damage. If the target resists debuff, move this card to the discard pile. Technically speaking, it's supposed to be used only once, but if it misses, we can use it again. I want that. I mean, it sounds handy, but I'm not so sure about it. Crack. If the target has a weakening debuff or is defeated by the skill, deal 11 damage and apply one stack of the skill's debuff to all enemies. Oh, no, that sounds good. Armor, attack power down. And another healing whip, but I guess I don't need it because we already have it. Okay, then we're going to go for crack. And now you only get one skill instead of two? You always got two before. Okay, I wasn't really able to find the vending machine yet. Maybe the vending machine appears in the next stage. Hmm. Probably appears in the next stage. Can we get an easy one? I would have preferred a Cerberus. But I guess it's fine. Right? It is certainly fine. I wish I could get something else than healing though. Okay, now you hit me once. That's certainly something. But uh, at this point of time, it's already too late. Already way too late. Yeah, I guess the living armor isn't really that bad. Technically speaking, he hits less than Cerberus because uh, he only attacks once per turn, right? He only attacks once per turn, and so far that wasn't really such a big issue. Oh my god, she's adorable. <laughs> she is so adorable! You scared me! I thought you were one of the pharaohs! Well, do you want to try this mask on? <laughs> nah, perhaps not. Oh, those two are cute. Okay, let's see. Who can we recruit? I could get Lorene, but practically speaking, I do kind of need a tank, and I really love Leon, so uh, welcome aboard, Leon! Really appreciate it. I could technically eat a bread. I don't really think we need it. So let's see. Trisha. What could Trisha possibly like? Strangely enough, I think that might actually be something for us. She literally has a whip. <laughs> I should save that for us. 
So all that remains is maybe a cup of coffee? Huh? <laughs> Trish? You're giving this to me? Uh, forgive me. I don't know how to react. Oh, shoot. She doesn't like it. Trisha always makes it so difficult for me. She always makes it so difficult. I just can't tell what she likes. Ah, <sighs> well, at the very least, we're going to get a new relic. When the battle starts, create a party. Barrier of seven. I don't think we... Do we need that? I mean, we do. We are trying to go to the wilderness. That might actually be good. Barriers, technically good. You know what? Sure. Let's give it a try at least, right? Oh my god, Snarlish. Oh my god. <laughs> no, but seriously, Leon, do you also? You also come with that skill. Why is that? Okay. Why do I see that on the map now? They usually never show secrets on the map. The vending machine never had an image before. Well, either way, here you go. Two salt stones. That should be uh, the first of them. I remember there was a second one somewhere in the bloody park. Right? Somewhere in the bloody park. Okay, I have to give it to Huss. She has some very interesting skills. I mean, look at this. Carrot and stick. Armor penetration 25%, accuracy 5, uh, 4%, healing gauge protection. We do 6 damage, but technically speaking, with the free heal, I don't really think that's going to cause any issues. We can also use the whip of healing. Allies with full HP are not affected, which is 6 healing to all allies. Over here by 3 when healing wound is removed. Can, can I remove healing wound? Like, I'm not entirely sure about that one. Domination, 9 damage. Swiftness, ignores taunt, discard of, the, uh, discard of the 3 turns. Can be casted twice this turn, and hence next turn. Enemy attacked by the skill, switches their taunt status. Evasion, minus 18. I can... Can I remove their taunt status with this? That might actually be kind of handy. Crack is something that we already had. Life barrier deals 16 pain damage based on healing power and create a barrier equal to the damage amount. Remove all CC debuff from the target. I can heal everyone from their stun. That sounds also really great. Rabbit doll MVP 16 damage. Can only target character with a weakening debuff. Tactically speaking, we have that thanks to Trisha. I'm not entirely sure if Leon has a- but then again, she does have one with the armor debuff, so MVP doll might actually work out nicely. Give and take. If an ally is at dead door or has healing wounds debuff, mew the next three skills to be drawn and add one to the top of the deck. Is that good? I mean, it heals everyone by eight points. Mew the next three skills to be drawn, add one to the top of the deck. So I can guarantee that this card is going to be drawn next. This might sting. Deal 6 damage to the target based on healing power. Heal all ad other allies by 9. I can reduce the cost of the target by 3 for the next couple of turns. That is also really interesting. So we have a buff. We have a way to do a 16 damage if they have weakening debuffs. A way to view and manipulate our card draw. And a way to lower our cost. As well as something against taunt. What? Yeah, let's go for this. This is gonna be fun, Leon. Believe me, you will have a lot of fun. Especially with reckless swing. <laughs> Or maybe even the drop down, which is actually going to give us. Oh, but then again, both of them give us a buff. Hmm, I'm gonna get the re reckless swing after all, though. Reckless swing is just really, really handy for us to have, right? It's really, really handy for us to have. That kind of looks like Excalibur. 
Why does it look like Excalibur? Okay, now I'm a bit interested about that, but at the same time, there's a high chance we might run into the witch, and I do kinda... I kinda... wanna get the witch. So I'm really sorry, Sir Dorchi. I didn't quite expect it to see you around here, but it seems like you survived. And you're already getting ready to appear again, but I can't, ri I can't allow you to appear just yet. I should have done it after all. Of course I don't get the witch! What did I expect? I get the witch? No way! <laughs> He's still alive! How are you still alive? Oh, thank you for the pain debuff! I was about to say! This team... It's not bad! But we don't really have that much damage. <laughs> What's this? Black spiked armor. Maximum HP 40%, debuff resistance 20, reflects half of the damage received onto a random enemy. That sounds actually really good. Oh, breach! Is it cursed? No. Okay. Leon, I'm pretty sure you will appreciate this. And now we have another gun! Ahaha, that's certainly going to be handy. I mean, I could try it. Do you perchance like a gun, Trisha? Is that your style? You're giving this to me? Forgive me. I don't know how to react to a gift. Ah, shoot. I just don't get her. I just... I simply do not get her. And she's still <laughs> lacking a gift for a final clover. She's, she's not gonna make this easy for me. Not even in the slightest. Ah, there it is. Perfect. So, what exactly do I need to do after this? Do I just need the vending machine, or do I need something else? I'm gonna double check on the note really quickly. It doesn't really say anything else. I guess we are done. Except of the fact... Windy Noise. Windy Noise was at, at the camping site, right? Was it at the camping site? I'm pretty sure it was at the camping site. Either way, we're going to get a skill upgrade. Or not. I don't really want that after all. Can I not go back from here? I thought I could select the skills and check it out first, but I guess not. I guess an extra exchange wouldn't really be so bad. On the Shadow Slash, because the Shadow Slash is actually kind of handy. But it's a shame, I could have gotten a rare skill from this. I was pretty sure that I could check the skills first before I have to make my choice. But maybe that's also one of the changes that are... Just here? Is that the windy sound? But wait, it sh that doesn't make sense. Wasn't that supposed to be? I thought it was supposed to be at the camping site. What am I supposed to do with this now? Is it somewhere in the trees? Yet clearly. It's gone here. Alright, maybe I need my uh, my scrolls again. Yes, I need my scrolls again, and now there's some kind of hatch. Consume a key, okay. Inside of the hatch was a small dark basement room. There's a strange place item deep inside of the room. Take the item? Object with unknown purpose. It looks like something you've seen before. Okay. I can sell it for quite a lot of gold. 
Can't really seem to equip it though. It's a bit weird. Oh well. I guess I'm just gonna get a couple more extra fights. I need to sort of stone. Sith serious. If we're going for the wilderness, we need all the support we can possibly hope for. Guess I can go for the random scrolls. A couple extra lifting scrolls isn't really so bad to have. Right? Maybe I can find another secret. Somewhere. <laughs> if I get another mapping scroll. Actually speaking. Oh no, that's teleport. What's this? Transfer. Spawn a relic display stand in front of the ball. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's handy. If I had a relic. <laughs> right? If I had a relic, that might actually be uh, kind of helpful. I need to save the 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 salt stones for my MP. I'm lagging a little bit on the TP uh, MP department. Hello, Chuka! It's always a pleasure to run into you. You're literally the easiest guy I can possibly find around here. <laughs> Only question is, ah, oh, shoot! I guess you can have my carrot and stick. Sure. <laughs> oh well, I can avoid the whole Joker play. Just like this. Duplication is actually really handy. Really, really handy. Oh, look at that! I, I had just enough slots to get all of the item without uh, recycling through my, <laughs> through my item bar, right? This is great. This is really great. The cracking was the skill that was able to hit everything around her, right? Which is going to come in quite handy once more enemies spawn. Oh. But first and foremost, a new recruit, right? A new recruit. And technically speaking, I could get another healer into this. Which also acts as a DPS, which might, just might be a little handy. But then again, Hein had the ability to get a benefit if he's hurt, right? Hein had the power to benefit from damage. So in that regard, it might actually be better for me if I were to go for him. Right? I think, I think that might actually be a good idea. So if we're going to go for Hein... <laughs> Against my better judgement, because Hein is literally the guy that usually always dies around here. But surely, surely not this time, right? <laughs> surely, surely not this time. And, so I have no idea what you're like, I'm just going to give you a random fishing rod. This is already the third gift in a row. Even if you don't like it, you will give me the last clover. Right, Trisha? I saw that you didn't like it, but you are going to give me the last conversation now. Thank you. <laughs> Lucy. What's wrong, Trisha? I don't want you to get too close to me. Hmm? Smell her? Uh, wait. Did I do something wrong? What's the matter? Did I do something? Uh, no, you're not a problem here. It's just... You heard how the Ark people talk to me, right? Even if this is not true, I'm labeled as a spy of the Ferris Order. If you try to be friends with me, you'll be looked down upon as well. Oh no. What? Why should I care about other people's opinion? I don't want to turn my back on someone for a reason like that. Hmm. Lucy, I'm different from you and everyone else. What do you mean? Remember what I said? The Ferris Order is near impossible to understand. We can't even know what their motivations are. I was born to such people. So am I really the same as all of you? Do I really have the right to stand alongside you? That's... When the investigator took me in as a baby, they didn't tell me anything. I only realized that I was an abandoned child when I infiltrated the Order not so long ago. That is when I found traces of my past self, and the secret of my birth. So you weren't abandoned in your childhood? They discarded you as a child? A baby? A little kid? I was surprised, but I didn't give it much thought. 
because I belonged to the investigators and not the Ferris Order. But once that information was leaked, it seems that the Ark people stopped trusting me, even though they have no reason to distrust you because you literally grew up with them. Oh, Trisha. Maybe I'm confused too. Maybe I've been avoiding my true identity all along. Trisha, do you really think you're the same as the Ferris Order? What? In my opinion, you're no different from any of us. Just like the investigators, you risk your life to save the world. You're completely different from those Ferris Order people. In fact, since I lost my memories, I can sort of relate to how you feel. So don't try to bear the pain alone. We're friends after all. Oh, Lucy. No one's ever said that to me before. Thank you. Oh, poor little Trisha. I don't quite understand you, but I can kind of relate. At the very least, Lucy can relate. No, but seriously, I don't understand the people around here. They are so quick to complain! Even with their altered memories! They are so quick to complain around here! <laughs> uh, reduce the skill cost by one if the user has healing gauge remaining. Yes. I could get it again, which might be handy because it ignores taunt. Or I get a very serious debuff. Mm. I think I want double rage and slash. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds a bit reckless. It's probably extremely reckless. But let's be serious. This sounds like fun. This sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> and he also comes to the end of the line. 25, 27, 27. Oh god, time. You're gonna do so much damage. It's gonna be really, really precious. I'm even going to give you this. For the heck of it. Wait, wrong button. For the heck of it, so that you can get rid of your last healing skill. <laughs> so do I have another... Mm, I don't have a relic. I have transfer, teleport, and lifting scroll. So where was the entrance point? Right here. Okay. What the... What was that? Ah, okay. So you need that triangle thingy, the logo, in order to proceed through here. Makes sense. You probably aren't supposed to go back here. But hey, <laughs> there is a character that can be unlocked around here. So of course, of course, we're going to do that. The Crimson Wilderness. If you draw a basic skill, exclude it and select a class skill to use in your hand. After battle, all allies are revived and recover 25 HP. Doesn't that sound nice? Teleportation scroll! <laughs> <laughs> you think? You think I would need to find anything around here, but no! It's just the boss! Oh shoot. <laughs> it's just the boss! Haha! <laughs> Are you here to enjoy a duel with me again? What do you mean with again? But what is that strange outfit? Is this your attempt at a disguise? I suppose it's fine as long as you can fight. Now, let us duel! What? What? Okay, uh, a lot of things happen at the same time. I can create a skill. Give and take... Da, da, da. The next skill... I can select another skill in hand. If the target of assist is debuff... I can redraw it, or rather it goes to my discard pile. I can reduce his uh, defense with this, so I'm probably going to go for it. Again, ignore taunt. Guarantee critical hit against target whose health is 50% or below. When the user's at dead door against swiftness, deal 18 additional damage. I think I want intimidation. Okay. W what is this? 15 damage, double tap. If the target is not a dead door, attack the target again. 
Ricochet shot. Shoots the left and right side of ally of the target. The selected... Uh, Hein. <laughs> the selected ally is also attacked. Receives critical chance 100%. Okay. Duel is smart. When you draw 8 skills, shoot a character at the top of your hand for 9 true damage. Ignores Lucy. Damage is increased by 7 per rival stack. So you limit my draw. And you also have 2 attacks that you show me, actually. You show me what you're going to go for. Well, bring it on, I would say. I kind of want to go for Constrict. Protection for yourself. If I exchange this, I get an additional mana point. Draw again. Shadow Curtain. Shadow Curtain might be quite handy for me. Give that Shadow Curtain to my healer. For an attack really, really soon. Whenever you draw eight skills. Ah, is it shown via the the barrel? Might be. Nevertheless, I'm going to go for the hard pierce in order to get the focus. Double tap hits. Didn't quite trigger the other buff that I was preparing, but I guess that's fine. End it here. Cherub comes around. Ricochet. Take 15 damage and gain rival debuff. Damage increase based on total rival stacks. I guess you can give that a time. It kinda needs the damage in order to dish out even more damage. Can I bring you to death though with this? No, I just heal you four. That's not good. <laughs> That's probably not good. Okay, domination. Use it again. Innovation down. I need to draw. I really need to draw. Go for the parry. Move it over to Hein. I'm gonna draw a couple of times. Don't do this! Why are you scaring me like that? I can't move right now. Invisible? Why do you have invisible now? Ouch! Okay. Trisha, tank it. Tank it like a champ. Okay. You draw again. Why are you drawing again? <laughs> Wait, what? I've never seen these techniques before. You guys, you're not the same guy from last time. That's strange. Your faces are definitely identical from last time. Well, I suppose it doesn't matter, as long as we can enjoy a fun duel. I won't hold back this time. What? Okay. You're fast. I'm gonna hit you with this. Resist all damage. What is revolver fanning? You're gonna kill him! <laughs> You're literally about to kill him. Okay. Keep him back up. Okay? What was that about? What what was that about? <laughs> Another dead dog? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Love to see it! Always love to see it. Let's go for the illusion strike. Give him a pain debuff. And exchange this for something else. Technically, yes. Just give him another. More pain debuff. Focus is technically ready! Let's use a couple barriers! Yeah! Sure! Who's the current target? I can't even tell! <laughs> Please don't- Oh no, not her! Oh, don't do this to me! 
Rating slash. Fade a turn. I can use another Rage and Slash, but I have a feeling I might need to heal. 15 damage. We can take it. We can take it! It's fine! It's absolutely fine! Who are you targeting with this? 15 damage again. I don't mind if I do. I exchange this for something else. Would, would that trigger another hit? It might trigger another hit, but I can't really do anything with, about that right now. What if I were to use this? Would that work? Shiny pillar! That's a healing skill, at least! Remove all debuffs, selected ally, I have mana potions. There's none here, there's nothing I can do right now! Oh god! <laughs> oh god! Hit her! She dodged it! Yeah, that's... That's my buddy! <laughs> She's quick on her feet! <laughs> Extremely quick on her feet! Okay, go for another crack. Weakening. Withdrawal. I have to go for it. I have to go for it. Bloody storm. Don't you hit him! Don't you freaking hit him! End of the line! Ooh! What do you mean you survive? Why can't you survive? <laughs> you can't just survive! Uh, I can't draw. Let's wait a turn. I want to see what you do. Of course you hit me with that! Uh huh! Of course! Punishment! Punishment might be handy. I can't stall for time. I may I I can't draw mana. Stall for one more turn. Pain damage! Beloved pain damage! Thank you! I oh, should somebody has a tank. Twitter! <laughs> it's fine! It's fine! I'm sorry, hon! I know! I jinxed you! I shouldn't have said that you always die! But my god, you carried like a champ! <laughs> Phoenix! Look at the board, Phoenix! Thanks for the feast, Phoenix! <laughs> what was that though? That was so mean! That was actually really mean! Let's get out of here. I'm not gonna touch the other <clears throat> encounters around here. Screw that! <laughs> Ooh! A sunset. When entering a boss fight, create Revolver Fanning Skill at the bottom of the deck. Revolver Fanning Skill is cast when drawn and deal 50 damage to a random enemy. Well, don't mind if I do. And then we have... Tequila. Attack power 10%, maximum HP 7, armor 10. Critical hit rate, minus 5, evade, minus 7. Debuff success rate, 10. Grant 300% debuff resistance on the first... Oh, yes! God! And then... Black Iron Anvil. Activate when obtained. Increase the numbers of time you can reforge at the campsite to 5 for this run. And select from 4 option when reforging an item. Relic display stand key. Activate when obtained. Expand your relic inventory by two for this run. I don't really have that many. But then again, that's a relic. That's an equipment. I might get some relics later. I don't usually craft that much. So we're going to go for the key. And just like that, we can move to the next stage. Is there even a time shade around here? Wait a second, can I? Can I? <laughs> I was about to say. Could I just go back into the archive? That would have been quite interesting. But I guess that's not really an option around here. Yeah, I can't really click anything. Ah, such a shame. Such a shame. But I guess that's fine.
But I guess that's fine. We need the heal though. Everyone needs the heal. Hein is too cool to sit down. <laughs> Hein, stop moving forward randomly. You're ruining our formation. Please leave me alone. I think it's a bit... He's a bit tired. I mean, he literally had to die again for everyone's sake, right? He did kind of have to die for everyone's sake again. I wouldn't be surprised if he's a little bit tired about that. So the pain debuff was really, really handy. So I'm going to give the pain debuff to our Trisha again. And from here on out, uh, what are we going to work on? I like both of them. Oh, shoot. But then again, wait a second. We have the leash. And we have stuffed animals. Do I have a whip? Do I have anything related to a whip? Mm, not really, but I'm pretty sure she will like the leash. So I should give her, for her first clover, something that she doesn't like. Like, the one thing that nobody appreciates. The violin. How about that? Maybe you are actually the girl who actually likes the violin for a chance. Hmm? Oh, are you trying to give this to me? I don't have anything I can give back, though. Thanks, Lucy. I'll put it to good use. Well, at the very least, she didn't really dislike it. Nobody likes the violin, though. Lucy, you're not hurt anywhere, are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Just tell me whenever you're hurt. I'll heal you with this whip. Um, that whip. Oh, don't worry. It will only hurt for an instant. How can someone be healed from getting whipped? <laughs> I wonder how. Why don't you just take a guess? Because it's uh, a special whip? Because pain equals happiness? Is it all a lie? <laughs> Maybe it's all a lie. Huh? The pain is too much, so the brain has no choice but to accept it as healing. Wait, it's too early for you to be, ha be having this conversation. To be precise, it's a method of transferring the magic circulating inside of the whip directly to the target through physical contact. You didn't understand that, did you? There's magic in your whip? Well, I could tell from your face. But I do know that you're an amazing person. Not only do you heal, but you're an impressive fighter too. I feel like I'm always helped by you in some way or form. Well, there's nothing to gain from buttering me up, you know. I was just saying my honest impression. Then I'll have you accept my kindness. We should get going now. Don't let your guard down. Okay, so uh, is Lucy getting healed? I, I'm pretty sure she uh, might not actually like uh, the whip, though, but who am I to assume such a thing, right? <laughs> who am I to assume such a thing? Oh god, this team is so busted. <laughs> this team is so busted. I have so much MP. I don't really have that many healing options, but I just got the great heal from the shop that heals 39 once. 39 once and <laughs> we have a golden bread as well. This is just the best, right? And we have the Reaper from all people. The Reaper! <laughs> okay. Let's see. How do I start this? That's fine. You can take another hit. Repulse comes around. Dead sentence. What's that? Oh, she's dead! <laughs> she's dead! It was dead! Okay! <laughs> I was a bit worried because suddenly there was a miss. <laughs> Hello, Black Rabbit doll! Thanks! A bunch of items. I don't need the identification scroll. I take the book. Thank you very much. And that is fine. So, my good that we have a revive tent, right? 
If we don't have that, that would be quite terrible. Use it on him. Come on. There you go. Oh, Hein, it's every time, right? Every single time. There's always an accident with our Hein. He always ends up dying, but hey, it's fine. At the very least, this time around, we only had to beat the... The, what's it called? The Reaper, right? The Reaper is not really that bad. From all possible outcomes that we could have had during this uh, encounter, right? <laughs> okay, let's eat this. And another. And another. And another. And I'm pretty sure you're totally going to be fine now. Right, Hein? Totally going to be fine. Yeah. It would boost her relatively weak healing strike which technically would come in handy right we could technically need it so it's going to be absolutely fine now the moment of truth do you like the leash Hus? is that your hmm, kink with the whip <laughs> are you giving this to me i don't have anything i can give back though Thanks, Lucy. I put it to good use. Never mind. I guess the leash doesn't quite equal whip. Huh? Armor reduction is also okay. Certainly. Any form that allows us to do more damage is appreciated around here. Do I have a mapping scroll? No, I don't. Great. If I use this, can I see where it is? No. Oh well! Oh my god! My luck is on point! My, my luck! My luck is too good! My luck is too good! Oh god! Leah, did you see that? The second teleport scroll, right in the boss room! <laughs> I can feel an overwhelming fighting spirit. Oh no, this won't be an easy battle. But do not worry too much. Victory will be ours, like always. I'm pretty sure this is pretty much the same as before. I think from all of them, only Huss is the new one around here. According to legends, this is the guy with the final time shade. The long-awaited wish of the investigation team. We will accomplish it with our own hands. This time around, Asa is not around. That feels a bit weird, but I guess it's fine. Come on! Come on, King! The moment of truth! Let's see! Let's see if they can handle you! <laughs> That's actually a cooldown of four. Uh, and then again, I bet I make it ready. Right? I can exchange this for something else. Give and take is going to heal everyone up a little. Let's pull out the punishment! Twice, I guess. No, never mind. 65. 65, everyone is shackled. Let's pick up the blade and finish the run. <laughs> oh, this is great. Good job, everyone. Success. <sighs> oh, yeah. Actually speaking, I shouldn't be so happy about this. I literally just helped her kill her father again. And she doesn't even want that. She doesn't even want that. It's the end. Stop bothering us now. Oh, Lucy. Wait! He talked! Impressive technique. You've become so powerful. We'll be taking the time shade. Take the time shade and activate the clock tower. Huh? What happens after that? Are you going to repeat your actions again and again? Lucy. Lucy, the time of waiting is finally over. The time has come for the final act. What? How do you know who I am? All preparations are complete. The only thing left is to take actions. 
I'm sorry for putting you through this, Lucy. Wait, what are you talking about? This could be our last, so allow me one selfish act. Don't come near me! Don't come... I know. I've lost all right to say this, but I love you, my dear daughter Lucy. C could it be that? Are you my dad? <laughs> he used to hate it when I hugged you like this. You've changed so much. But it's okay. No matter how you change, you'll always be my good daughter. Too good for a parent like me. I'm sorry I couldn't raise you in a better environment. That? Lucy. It must have been so painful for so many years. I'm truly sorry things had to turn out this way. What do you mean? No, don't worry about it. Lucy, you probably don't remember, but it's your birthday soon. Every birthday, I couldn't even get you a cake, saying I was too busy. But this year, we can do something better than a cake. It won't be long now. Once we escape from here safely, and all the commotion is settled, we should go out on a picnic once this is all over. I couldn't understand half of what the Forgotten King was saying, but what I could understand was that there was sincerity in his voice. Feeling a warmth I hadn't experienced in so long, I could not hold back my tears. What? Now, Lucy, I have one last favor to ask of you. Take this. This cube. There's no need to repeat the same timeline anymore. With this, everyone can advance to the future. The future? Listen well, Lucy. From this moment, cruel truths and painful battle will await you. At the end of it, there may come a moment when you have to decide whose side you're on. However, remember this one thing. There's no such thing as a perfect ideal. Lucy, you need to decide for yourself what is right and wrong in this world. When that time comes, I will leave everything up to you. Okay. That will do it. Now, go activate the clock tower, Lucy. The clock tower? There's someone who can help you. I've informed that person in advance. Someone who can help me? You mean Azar? Not Azar! Uh? No matter what happens, do not listen to Azar! This cube and the fact that we talked need to be kept a secret from him. I don't know what's going on. I stabbed Dad and I came here to take the final time shade. Calm down, Lucy. Dad is okay, so there's nothing to worry about. All you need to think about is activating the clock tower. Once you do, you will understand everything. Now, Lucy, it's time to go. Take that cube and go to the clock tower. Activate the clock tower. Wait, I don't know where... I'm sorry for burning you once again. I'm truly sorry. Dad, 
Are you okay? All this blood? Because of me. It's okay. It's not your fault. You don't need to feel responsible. Seeing you come to kill me every time. I was actually glad that I could see you. Even like this. Now, I leave the future in your hands. I beg of you, Lucy. No, don't die. I just got to meet you. Dad! Oh, Lucy. But there was, there no, was response. no response. He, he seemed, seemed to be, to be dead. dead. Why? Why did I have to fight Dad? Why did Dad have to turn out this way? And how could I not remember my own father? He said I would understand everything once I activate the clock tower. Let's go to the clock tower. Let's activate the clock tower and discover the truth. Right.